We know that the finance ministers are embarking on this exercise to reform the fiscal package. And here, there's a large number of countries that want to make the stability and growth pact looser, that they want a looser stance going forward, in particular, so they can spend more on sustainable investments. But I asked the Austrian finance minister about that, and he said, essentially, that debts are debts, and he showed no leeway to make the fiscal rules looser. Let's take a look. We are um, very much for uh, stabilization in the, uh, in the Eurogroup and in the European, European Union in general. Um, so the, the stability and growth pact is, is one of the, the main topics we have, of course. And uh, coming back to, um, to rules, to, the rule, to stick to the rules, actually, that's very important for, uh, for Austria. Now, there's a school of thought uh, already emerging, in particular from your French and Italian colleagues, suggesting that when reforming the Stability and Growth Pact, then investments on climate should perhaps not be counted towards national deficits and public debts. Would you agree with that? Would you say yes to that proposal? Um, I would not say yes to that proposal, uh, because debts are debts, and um, either whether they are green or not, uh, they stay debts. And, uh, I think we should uh, come back to, to stricter rules uh, to get um, a budget path which is, um, which is for the next generations also. And uh, so exemptions um, of, uh, of, the, um, of the pact is, uh, I think, not the way we should go. And how do you suggest then uh, bringing up more sustainable investments into the financial accounts of uh, the different governments? I think we, we have shown that in Austria already with our eco-social tax reform. Um, if you set incentives for uh, green investments, that's, that's the, the better possibility in, in my point of view.